Good morning. It is 1040 in the morning. It's time to grab my mountain bike, throw it in the car and take my car to the mechanics and then we'll ride home. Uh, today we're going to be doing all the vlogging except for this spot with that camera. We'll press start and away it goes. I shut the audio off with the beep because that was annoying. Camera off. This might be the last time I use this for vlogging, we'll see. So we'll put that away. I have to remember that there's footage on there. And now we are hanging out with the GoPro Hero 9. And uh, I'm hoping all the audio is great. Again, the, one of my favorite things about this is it has a monitor. So I can just quickly glance over to it, make sure that uh, you know me and the bike are in the frame. I wouldn't know that with the other camera. It would all be guesswork just from using it and then seeing my final footage and uh, knowing that certain things aren't in there. So I then learned to tip the camera up or down, but right now I can just quickly frame it up, start talking to you guys, talk about my bike, but we're not gonna use this one. I used this one yesterday. Went for a good bike ride, it's like almost 20 kilometers. Uh, I think I averaged 24 kilometers per hour for my average speed, which was fantastic. Uh, I love going fast on that bike. All right, so we've got, the GoPro, I got my wallet, mask. Oh, I'm gonna finish this coffee first because that's important. And then we'll head over. So just give me a minute. Hey, Nan. Yeah, this camera's so much better. It's gonna be awesome. Hey, Ninja. Okay, it's time. All right, see you in a bit. No, no, you can't come out yet. Bye. So we're just gonna grab, uh, Got my phone, wallet, keys, phone, wallet, keys, mask. Um, I'm gonna try and start it, my car with this thing called Pro Start. I'm not sure if it actually works or not. I'm not sure if you have to hold it. So I pressed the single slot number, held it, and it looked like it possibly locked maybe. Okay, that unlocks it. Now let's press number two and see if that starts it. I'm holding it. Nope. Holding it. That locks it. But this locks it. And again, it might be a double tap. Nope. Doesn't work. Hold. Nothing works. Okay, so I'll just look into that a little bit more, but it does unlock the car, but this unlocks my car too. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna go grab my bike. I'm gonna have to uh, put it in the side door because again, we still haven't figured this out. Let's grab the mountain bike. So we can bike back home. All right. There she is. You better fit. I saw how to get my bike. Well, that just came off. Oh, cool. Fits sideways right there. So my bed. Look at this thing. Uh, that's so funny. So I might be able to figure out how to put it in here better than that. All right. I think there's a button here and that shuts the door. Nice, okay. Put the key in. Starts day two. It's got a backup camera on it and everything. It looks great. All right, let's go.
Uh, made it to the repair place and uh, just accelerating. The bike flipped over. All right, let's get the bike out of here and we'll drop the car off and uh, then we'll head home. The bell, my bell even went ding when it fell over. The guy who does the uh, the safeties isn't there until tomorrow, so the car will be sitting there until tomorrow. Uh, part of me was thinking I could bring it home and clean it up, but I'll, I want to do that, I guess, tomorrow. Hopefully the guy fixes what he needs to fix. Hopefully there's nothing to fix. And uh, I also asked them if they could please try to find some summer rims. Uh, sorry, some like used alloy rims just to make it look a little bit nicer than it is and uh, possibly some all seasoned, all seasoned, all seasoned tires uh, that are used. Uh, they got good connections to uh, auto wreckers and uh, they helped us out a lot with the Suzuki back in the day and found parts that they don't make anymore. And uh, so they got good connections and chances are there's a lot of these vans in the auto wrecker uh one thing i just noticed how, how's the sound i'm hoping the sounds good one thing i just noticed is i think at the five minute mark the screen goes into screensaver mode so i can't see myself at the moment let me see if the back screen yeah even the back screen it's gone so we're gonna have to figure out there's probably a setting in there that I can set so that it never shuts off because uh, that's why I bought this camera. I, I want this front screen to be on all the time and the back screen. All right, let's get home and uh, continue on with our day. Made it back, one piece. Oh yeah. Good exercise, good So, we are on our way to the post office to mail out the postcards to our awesome patrons on our Patreon. Thank you very much for all your support and also two birthday cards for two other patrons, uh, Corinne, and, who is from Australia, and Joseph, who is from New Jersey, USA. So let's get to the post office and send them out. Hello. All right, looks like somebody sent me a gift. <laughs> it looks like a french fry holder. So I guess we'll be making another video.
guy beside me is smoking a very large blunt. I'm hoping he's not driving. He look, he's standing by the passenger side and he's outside of his car and he's got a very long seven inch blunt smoking his dope. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna have to move out of here. I'll talk to you back at the house. post office and uh, it doesn't say who sent this uh, it came by airmail and uh, it said the word Jimmy is on there but I'm not sure 604 Jimmy I don't know what that means but it's like my address and then in my address it says 604 Jimmy and then the rest of my address for my, my post office box but uh, yeah it's a french fry holder Kind of slowly ripped it open already. There we go. Look at this. Nothing else in the bag. Oh, is that a... It almost looks like there's something else there, but I think it's... There's something else is in there. Somehow, no, it's just the way that they've uh, shrink-wrapped it. But there we go. French fry holder. See if it, there we go. Nice. Now yeah, that'll come in handy for sure. And then there's Stealth Mobile. Thank you very much, whoever sent that to me. Look at that. You can grow flowers in there. You can hook it on to something uh, inside your car. And that's uh, your French fry holder. Very, very cool. Thank you very much, whoever sent that to me. I appreciate it. All right, guys, what do you think of this GoPro? Uh, I don't mind it. Um, it when you went from the audio of the red cam of, of my Sony to the audio of this one, it went from what I've been used to for the last three or four years, and it has definitely more of a tinny sound to it, but it sounded the audio sounded great. And then when you go from that to this and you hear it, this one sounds a little bit muffled and uh, a little bassy compared to the Sony. But I started editing some of this footage I shot earlier today on this camera. And by the end of it, I got used to it. So if you guys only hear me uh, talking uh, to you on this GoPro and not shoot it with any other kind of camera, I don't think anybody will notice the, uh, the bassiness of it and the muffledness of this camera. If I get my car back tomorrow, chances are he's going to work on it all day. I'm hoping to get it back tomorrow by tomorrow night. Uh, Saturday we'll do a like a stealth camp clean out, and then we'll try and put the the cot in there with a couple other bins and my bike. And I'll try each of the bikes, and then you guys get to see what the layout of the land is going to be. And then I'm also going to have to try and figure out window coverings and uh, to make it black out in there for nighttime stuff. And then I'm going to need a light in there. Thank you very much guys for hanging out with me and all your support and we'll see you again in the next vlog. Ciao.